Welcome back. We are glad to have another expert from Alam Kenya, Mr. Peter Nduruto, who happens to be the coordinator of PILS Building and Reconciliation. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having us. Now, I want you to take us briefly through the process of peace and reconciliation, having in mind that the people you, you train are people who have gone through some maybe really bad experiences in the past during war and so on. What, what's the process that you go through training these people? Well, first of all is to identify uh, the location where conflict has taken place. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we make sure that we have uh, leaders, the local leaders who work with us. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we, we use the local leaders now to explain to us the, the very need on the ground. Mm -hmm. And once they do that, then we formulate uh, a curriculum from our end mm -hmm. and we go down to the community through the assistance of the local leaders. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that we use the local leaders is because they will guide us in, in ways of mobilizing the, the people, the, the different tribal groupings. Mm -hmm different religious groupings and they bring for us in a, in a gathering. It can be a conference, it can be a workshop, mm -hmm. a seminar, mm -hmm. and then we now give them the training. And the first, first bit of the training that we do is normally called um, trauma healing mm -hmm. and recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a process where you bring like everybody and then they, they share out. The they share out their experiences, mm -hmm. their difficulties, mm -hmm. and in the process of sharing out, uh, they are venting out. Mm -hmm. You know, the the wound is is it's like venting out the pain mm -hmm. through sharing, and and then the healing just happens in the training. Yeah. And so that's the the first uh, approach that we use, and later on that gives birth to what we call uh, uh, re reconciliation. Mm -hmm and then later forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So those are the processes that we've pretty much used over the years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talking of forgiveness, we have had people saying, maybe I, I have forgiven, but I have not forgotten. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we have experienced, um, you know, it, it's very difficult for people just to go forgive each other, you know, just in one, just in one day. Yeah. It, forgiveness is a, is a process. Yeah. And so we, when we even train, we don't tell them, you just have to forgive mm -hmm. each other right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's after they share out, and some of them even literally weep in the workshops, in the conferences. Mm -hmm. And that now communicates to them within themselves, mm -hmm. and then later on they find uh, a way of forgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, forgiving becomes the most, most important part for mm -hmm. us. Uh, forgetting, you know, we are human beings mm -hmm. and sometimes, uh, well, we can forgive, but it's not easy to forget. But yeah. now forgiving and forging ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's the, the point. Okay. Yeah. So mention some of the achievements that you have had as Alam. Alam has done a lot of achievement by the grace of God. Uh, you know, we have, first of all, been accepted in a lot of volatile, you know, contexts. Uh, talk about Tana River, for example. Talk about Mount Elgon. Talk about Kakuma refugee camp. Talk about Kibera, the informal settlement area of Kenya. The acceptance level is one of the things that we say we really have done achievement. Achievement in, in terms of uh, gaining the rapport of the grassroots community uh, is one of the achievements that we can say that we've done. Another thing is um, uh, communities just coming to us and telling us that we are being healed, we are being reconciled because Alam, you came and stood in between us. I want to give an example of uh, Mount Elgon. You'll be surprised that uh, the Mount Elgon community, the moment they hear Alam, African Leadership and Reconciliation Ministries, it's a sense of relief for them because they're saying that Five years ago, or about six years ago, when Alam intervened during the Sabor Land Defense Force circumstances of conflict, where a lot of people were killed, Alam was the one that intervened. And the intervention that Alam did, 
now united the community of Mount Elgon. And now they are saying that our children are going to school because of alarm. Our women are going to fetch firewood from the forest confidently because of the intervention that Alam did during that period of time. And so uh, this is an achievement. Seeing uh, a tribe, Orma and Pokomo, sit together and think a way forward together in Tana River region is a great achievement for Alam because in 2012, over 30,000 people were displaced, only in Tana River region. Uh, hundreds of them were killed, bloodbath situation. But right now, because of the trainings and the intervention that Alam did, they are sitting down together and wait, forging a way forward. So that's a great achievement that uh, I, can, I, can, I can talk about. Nice. Now lastly, as a person, individual, what drives you? Uh, talking about the drive, uh, I remember uh, myself years ago, like about 10 years ago, uh, as a Christian, uh, there was this prayer that I made. And uh, I remember praying to God to make me an agent of peace and reconciliation across the world. And now, and, and now uh, joining Allah was, and, and acting at the capacity of peace building and reconciliation was like a prayer answered for me. And so because that became like now my number one. My number one drive was the passion, the enthusiasm, and the oomph that I had uh, to just carry on the peace building activities, not necessarily in Kenya, but across the world. That was what my prayer talked about. But now when I'm doing these peace building activities across Kenya, uh, it's uh, something that I'm, I'm doing it out of my, my inner self. And so it just comes out automatically, there's no force of it, you know, not, not, notwithstanding any other thing. Yeah, just the drive inside me, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We have come to the end of the show. We have had some candid conversation with some of the experts from ALAM, which is Africa Leadership and Reconciliation Ministries. Until next time, keep watching Parastato TV. I have been your host, Mugure Kamau. God bless you.